Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to help the little kids with the triangle choke. I know we're all adults, but if you do have a kid or you coach kids class, this is something that's been really helpful using a $20 foam roller and my own leg to help them with this submission. All right guys, let's take a look at the position. This is my son, Caleb. If you guys follow me on social media, you've seen him and some of his rolling that he's done and some of his techniques. But here's a good one um, to help the little kids with triangles. So triangles, as we know as adults, are really basic moves. We learn it early and we use it forever. It's a, one of the best submissions out there. Um, but the little people have, have trouble with it, probably due to leg strength and things like that. One thing they're not limited by is flexibility. So um, when they throw up a triangle, they tend to have their knees out really wide like a butterfly stretch. And it can be very difficult during live rolling to set up the position. And they're really not in guard for very long, right, at white belt. You, you rarely see the triangles, you really start to see them pick up at about gray belt. So one thing I started doing with my son, I just thought of it, it was um, to help him get better with the triangles, besides do lots of reps, is to use a foam roller, because it's more of a little person size, because even though a little person can rear naked choke me and do some of the other moves, I'm just gonna be too big for him to practice his triangles on. So what I did was I used my foam roller, right? These cost like 20 bucks and I had him just work this, just to get the foot position down and getting behind the knee. So if I have Kill go down with his butt facing right here, okay, so what I have him do before every class is I have him do 50 triangles, which sounds like a lot, but it really doesn't take very long. So I'm gonna have him hold it in the center, like he's controlling his partner's posture, and he's just gonna work on his triangles. Go ahead, buddy. Good, and he's getting his heel down, just do a few in a row. Okay, switch to the other side. Just keep going like we do. Yes, and you can see how he's trying to do all the mechanics. He's trying to get right on his um, lock behind the knee pit. Toes are up and active so he's not hurting his foot. Keep switching, good. Just relax, good. Let's see five fast ones with good form. One, two, three, four, five, and five, very good. So that's really great at uh, watching the form and just already locking it up correctly. But with the foam roller, because it is stiff and it's the cylindrical shape makes it hard to squeeze on. It can be kind of uncomfortable. And I also really can't tell if he's even squeezing hard. So one thing I have him do with me every once in a while is I check his squeeze on my own thigh because my thigh is about as big as the foam roller. So this looks like we're getting into the leg entanglements, but we're not. And I just have him do the same thing Locking up his triangle. Now I want to feel the squeeze, okay? Just relax your face. Good, relax, good. So nice squeeze. Now switch to the other side. Good, switch to the other side, bud. Just get like we're doing it, good. Pull down, good. Then let me see the squeeze. Okay, good. Now go to the other side. Let me see four fast ones. What's good squeeze? One, pinch the knees together nice and tight. Two, three, good. Now I want you to hold this one for 10 seconds. Ready? Squeeze. One, Squeeze, two, three, four, five, breathe, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, so now what I could also do is if he's got pretty good on, on just my leg is I can put my arm in there too, right? Because this would be like it's my torso and head and I can put my arm in there as well. So if I have my arm on this side, Kale would of course lock it up over here. So go ahead and lock it up. There you go. Now, yes, and I can feel the squeeze. Now, this is going to be more the shape of a person now. It's a little bit more realistic. Okay, go to the other side. I'll move my hand over here for you. Good. This will also reinforce which arm is supposed to be in the triangle because the little kids have a trouble with that. Good. Go ahead and go back. Other side. Lock it up. Nope. There we go. Nice. Good. Okay, other side. One more time. Good. Nice. Relax. That's how we get a lot of triangle practice in. Give it a try, see what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please subscribe. I'm really trying to hit 5,000 subscribers. Follow me on Instagram at Ben underscore Egley. Thanks.